Before we get into the ball player glitch, before I explain to you everything about loadouts and everything you need to know about ball player, because finally I understand the entire concept fully, please, please, please make sure you hit that red subscribe button. We're aiming for 10,000 subscribers before the month of April ends. Hit that like button, turn on the channel notification bell. If you want to become a member of the channel, which is like a Twitch subscription, you can press that join button next to that red subscribe button or click on the description and there's going to be a link there. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, Twitch, and TikTok. And then cards are going to appear throughout the video that are going to contain playlists as well as clicking on the channel and pressing on playlists. You can view all of them there. And then community tab, interact with me there more blade miss section has my other youtube channels that you can go ahead and subscribe to and let's get into the it. first thing we're going to tackle is how to get ball player into diamond dynasty we're going to enter diamond dynasty and you're going to go directly to where it says manage squad now you will see that my ball player is already on the bench but let's replace him with jackie robinson currently you go ahead and select on the bench this is the easiest method sub you go down to filter and then max overall or you select the filter button you go down to max overall and then you put it at a max overall of a 65 you press back and then your ball player should appear somewhere along the lines of that 65 overall in terms of the players available you select him you select the loadout you want to use and then from here you can put him at whatever position you want to and if it is a secondary position or a position he does not play, it will say out of position. If it is a position he can play as his secondary, it will tell you secondary position. So you know what that loadout can or cannot play. We'll discuss more archetypes and loadouts, etc. in just one second. Now, what you see in terms of his attributes are not his true attributes inside of a Diamond Dynasty game or even a road to the show game. In order to see what his true attributes are, you would go to single player modes, play versus CPU. You would select whichever team, it did not matter because you're not gonna actually play the team. Whichever stadium, put whoever at your starting rotation. And then at the lineup screen, all you do is go down to your created player and there it will show you what his true attributes are once you take him into a game, whether it's Road to the Show or Diamond Dynasty. Clearly, he is a monster as opposed to what we are seeing. And that 65 overall is a visual bug. bug. Holy cow. Visual bug in terms of the card art and the overall it's showing us inside the lineup because those attributes do not belong to any 65 overall inside the game. Now, if in Road to the Show, your progress is not being tracked, a simple fix to this is going into moments and just having one quick at bat with whoever you go into the moments with. So I generally like going into Welcome to Moments, entering the Freddie Freeman moment where it's get an extra base hit. I don't care whether I get an extra base hit. I don't care whether I strike out in that plate appearance. All I'm trying to do is have one plate appearance against Marcus Stroman and then after that we're just gonna quit out you'll know whether or not you did it successfully because you will see experience being gained once you quit out regardless of whether you finish the mission or quit after one at bat now as i said i succeeded right there but if you would have had only one at bat and you would have grounded out and quit out it still would work and now road to the show progress will be tracked that's all you have to do now when it comes to creating a ball player when it comes to the archetype the loadout all these new things that came this year it's a simple explanation as well we're going to go ahead and enter loadout in loadout you can change your loadout by pressing that highlighted primary archetype that you see called slugger you press on slugger and here it will go by rarity if you press r1 it is going to go by position so slugger Directly above the overall, you see it states first base. That means that that player can play first base. And then I'm currently blocking it. But over here, it's going to say preferred positions, meaning those are his secondary positions. It has first base, catcher, third base, left field, right field. If you were to put him at short, center field, or second base, it would say out of position because he cannot play those. Now, at the same time, if you scroll to the right hot right hand side in the positions tab 
you will see that the one that you have equipped will appear on the right hand side and the one you are about to equip will appear on the left hand side now above that overall it will tell you what that primary position is meaning where he normally plays it would be center field and then it tells you the preferred positions which are center field second base shortstop left field and right field meaning once you select the archetype and you enter role to the show when everyone is telling me i can't select catcher i can't select catcher why can't i select catcher it's because catcher is not underneath the preferred positions of that player so unfortunately they will not give you an option now if you want to know what primary position to go ahead and make your player you just scroll through these perks or loadouts i believe they're perks though or not actually perks excuse me they're actually archetypes you go through these archetypes and you select whichever is the one that you're looking to put your player at a primary position. Now catcher does not have a silver, it does not have a gold, and it does not have a diamond. So the only thing you're gonna get with catcher is going to be a bronze. I hope that in the update, whenever it does come out for the patch for Road to the Show, they do add a silver, a gold, and a diamond archetype for catcher because that's what I want to create in Diamond Dynasty. As you can see, this is a second base one, third base one, and then right now I have been working on completing all of my shortstops. I completed the wizard in literally about four to five hours, just simulating by what I'm about to show you all. Now, as you can see, the one we currently have available, which we unequipped, because if you select it, it's going to unequip it. We're going to go back to Slugger. As you can see, Slugger, it has two perks. As you level up the tiers, the perks increase. It does not increase at Silver, but it does increase at Gold to 3, and then at Diamond, it will increase to 4. We have a perks tier list, and I will repeat the tier list here as well, or actually, I will leave it for the video of the perks tier list. It's going to be in the playlist, how to ball player, if you want to go ahead and check it out. And in the pinned comment, because I forgot to do the fielding perks, it's gonna be in the pinned comments, what I believe are the best perks for fielding when it comes to diamond perks, because diamond are end game level perks. And this right here, what's highlighted in the middle, it's going to be the archetype. So we're working on leveling up our first baseman. So that's going to be slugger. When it comes to perks, you're gonna see perks by rarity or position. I like putting it by position. And what position does is it groups up all the contact perks together and then it goes down by tier level. It's gonna do the same thing for fielding and then it'll do the same thing for power and each and every single perk available. Now what perks do is they either add and subtract, add or just subtract from a certain attribute in order to increase the other attribute. For example, in order to increase our fielding and reaction here by nine and six, we would be taking away one attribute point from our power versus left and power versus right. On the left hand side, it will show you the perk that you're about to equip. And then on the right hand side, it shows you the perk that you currently got going on or currently equipped, I should say. So you mix and match and you put the best perks available. As I said previously, I have a perks rankings tier list you can go ahead and check it out how to ball player playlist on the channel now when you press view program and this is important because this plays a humongous role in terms of doing the glitch correctly and roll to the show when you press view program and you go down to roll to the show it's going to tell you what this program revolves around so if i'm making a first baseman and it's telling me plate appearances and extra base hits I know that what I need to equip in terms of perks has to be power because extra base hits, they come from power. And then plate appearances, I'm going to go ahead and generate that from just playing the game. Also, let me equip real quick a diamond perk or diamond archetype, excuse me. As you can see, it has a fielder's glove. And each diamond archetype, do not think once you get a diamond archetype that you're done with the program. Each diamond archetype has a program within that diamond archetype in order to unlock two packs of diamond equipment and then a pack of diamond perks. Now, whatever is the image of that primary archetype, that is going to be the perk that is available inside that diamond pack. So if it's a fielding glove, you're gonna get to select one 
diamond fielding perk if we go ahead and get slugger all the way to diamond and we get each of its archetypes to diamond it's gonna give us power diamond perks to select from if we get spark plug it will give us diamond contact perks to select from speedster is going to be speed and then when it comes to pitcher this would give us diamond velocity perks i believe this is diamond control and then diamond break perks so whatever is the image of the primary archetype that is the diamond perk that's going to be available within that diamond program so that's also something you want to keep in mind let's go back to slugger or actually let's switch it up let's go to something else so let's say for example i wanted to do the glitch with a second baseman i press view program here you're gonna see it on the bottom left of your screen the button if you're on xbox that you have to press and here it's gonna tell me what i need to do and roll to the show and it's simple i just need to get hits if i just need to get hits then i know that contact is going to be the perk that i want not power just straight contact because i just want to get as many base hits as possible through simulating when we go ahead and select a perk like speedster for example the road to the show missions are going to be stolen bases so instead of me equipping contact or power i would be prone to equip speed perks in order to get stolen bases in terms of my role to the show player and simulations and you're going to go ahead and look at each and every single one and know that as you progress in terms of the archetype there are going to be more road to the show missions and a lot more variety so for example as you all saw this is a slugging slickster meaning third baseman with good fielder if we go ahead and select his archetype we're gonna see that in the road to the show missions we have to get assists put outs and extra base hits so if i have to get assists and put outs put outs the best positions to go ahead and get those at is either catcher or first base assists would probably be in the middle infield so i would have to make the decision when i go and do the road to the show glitch whether to make a shortstop second baseman catcher or first baseman i would have to select one of those four options and since i'm leveling this archetype i would know since i picked that as my primary that he can play catcher as a secondary so in the options when it asks us hey what would you like to play if you don't want to be a two-way player you can select catcher but if i was doing speedster it wouldn't appear because i'm a primary center fielder clearly as you all can see so let's go ahead and check out center field for example and see if the program is any different so it's the same thing assist put outs and stolen bases and that's what's going to be the concept depending on what you go ahead and select the only things that are going to be added as you continue is going to be assists and put outs plus whatever that primary stat is that it's always been asking you to get once you level it up to gold it's going to ask for another one in addition to that so here it added stolen bases so clearly speed would be very important and then leveling the diamond archetype all it asks for are assists put outs hits stolen bases my player never got stolen bases because i never had any speed perks but if you do want to go ahead and once again make the best or do the glitch as fast as possible it would be smart to fill it up with just contact and speed perks because that way you would be stealing bases and getting base hits instead of filling it up with power and contact perks like i did now let's go ahead and create the slugger and let's say you want to continue playing on whatever file you have so you would just press x there i'm gonna specifically go ahead and enter the file manually instead of just pressing x and this is a player that i've been doing the glitch on already and we are going to see whether or not the stats will be tracked we're going to check view program road to the show missions and he's four out of five extra base hits he has no plate appearances yet so in order to do the glitch and before we do the glitch just know you can create new loadouts but once you create a new loadout please keep in mind that you have to put all of your equipment back on on that new loadout because it does not transfer now there is a bug as well that as soon as you leave 
the loadout screen even if you do change your appearance each and every single time it will reset it to a default appearance where your player only uses one batting glove and if you have two arm sleeves he only uses one etc they need to fix that as well there is nothing that you can do to fix it because every single time that Most you're going to go ahead the major and enter that part of the screen it's going to appear now training you're going to want to be doing this because of the simple fact that it's going to help your player get better attributes as you sim. So I would skip each time it's asking you to play and then just make sure you're selecting the loadout that you're currently working on. We're currently working on Slugger. We're already in the majors. I don't know why, but if you get drafted by the Dodgers halfway through the season, they're going to ask you if you want to play third base. My guy plays third base. So that was easy for me. All you're going to do after that is just simulate each and every single game. Now, I want you all to know this as well. You're not going to get experience after each and every single game you've simulated. You get experience once you have achieved a certain amount of progress within that archetype program. So yes, a lot of the other guys tell you something along the lines of, hey, you're gonna be getting X amount of experience every X amount of minutes. It doesn't work like that necessarily unless you're a starting pitcher slash relief pitcher, I believe. The pitchers, they're a lot easier to complete. Therefore, you would be getting, for the time you're doing, a lot more experience. But since the hitters, the they usually don't perform the best way possible each and every single time you simulate. Sometimes you get lucky. Sometimes your guy goes 0 for 1 for 10 inside the entire series. It's going to take longer for you to gain experience because it's going to take longer for you to complete the programs. But that's how it works. You get experience by completing a certain section of the player archetype program so as you all can see the progress is being tracked right now we're gonna go ahead and pass this interaction and then go straight to the ball player loadout and see if it's currently working we didn't get an extra base hit all we got ourselves was a single but as you can see the stats are being tracked and if we would have gotten an extra base hit this is repeatable so it would have reset back to zero and we would have been able to move on to 70 and then as you can see each time you basically finish an archetype completely that's when the experience comes now that is all you need to know you're gonna do this non-stop for non-stop seasons if you want to what you can do for every new archetype that you're gonna begin developing which is what I do as well is you create a new file and when you create a new file by pressing the more options button you start new and then you want to save the file after your first or you want to save the file after you get drafted so whenever you want to select a new archetype and work on that new archetype you can tell them inside the meeting no i do not want to be a two-way player and then you select whichever position is going to benefit that archetype the most and then you're done that's how you go ahead and do the glitch that's how you max out as soon as possible and that's how you get diamond archetypes stubs experience perks equipment and you can sell the perks and equipment and make a killing right now but just know if you sell it you're not going to be able to obtain it again in the future because this is only once in a lifetime kind of things but if you did end up enjoying today's content once again please make sure to hit that like button red subscribe button don't forget to follow me on all social medias have a blessed day and night stay positive stay safe stay blessed and if you want to become a member of the channel feel free to do so i'll catch you all in the next one peace out